Hi, Hans from DLX Technologies, and today we're going to take a look at the Lux Ice Regulator. To begin with, you can see that the regulator itself has been integrated into the main body of the gun now. And what that allowed us to do was to make a thinner, lighter, stronger design than the previous generation. On top of that, we have this removable reg insert panel on the front of the body. We're going to have a polymer insert panel that can be switched out with that in the future, which is going to provide a grippier, textured feel. Um, and one really important thing to note, this reg insert panel is locked in on two points and around the entire perimeter of the reg insert. So it's very secure, it's not going to twist or move like other plastic inserts in the market. Um, so it's going to be a very strong, very secure feel up there. All right. And next up, we'll take a look at some of the internal changes that have been made. So to start with, the Lux Ice Regulator has been redesigned to reduce part count and make it much easier to access for maintenance. All we need here is a 5 16 Allen key to remove our regulator retaining nut on the bottom of the reg body. Once you remove that, you're going to see that on the bottom of it, it actually calls out a 5 30 seconds is what's used for velocity adjustment. Okay. On the other side of our reg nut here, we have an O-ring inside of there that just holds compression on this front reg panel to uh, make sure it doesn't unscrew during use. And once the reg nut's removed, just by sticking your finger up in this bore, you can push forward on that reg panel to remove that. At that point, we take the same 5 16 Allen key and remove the main cartridge of our regulator, which is what houses all of our dynamic seals or moving parts, being the regulator piston itself, which is mainly all you're gonna need to access for any regular maintenance. So right there, you can pull out the regulator piston and spring. We have one O-ring on that regulator piston, one O-ring that sits down in this housing, and that's the main two O-rings that uh, require regular maintenance or uh, servicing. In the main body itself, the only remaining item is a regulator filter that sits down in that body. And there's one O-ring that is housed down inside of this body. It's not a dynamic O-ring. It's a static seal. It just sits in place. So it's not something you're typically going to have to get into for maintenance, but just to be aware that they're is one additional o-ring down in there. So taking a closer look at the regulator cartridge here, you'll notice that the regulator body has a cutout here that allows for easy removal of the reg piston by just using your fingernail or tip of your finger for removal. We have two static seals on the body itself and then if it would ever be necessary there's only a retaining clip here that can be removed with a simple pick if we would ever have to remove the regulator adjustment screw up in the main bore of this body. So as you can see, it's been simplified for very easy disassembly and very simple maintenance. 